So I wanted to make a really quick video because I thought um, today I'm working on a bodysuit for a client and I thought that I made kind of a, a maker's mistake that was going to set me back quite a bit of time because I had to order like a whole new fur and I was going to have to wait for it to arrive and it was going to be a whole big mess. But I'm now experimenting with this. I don't think that's going to be an issue actually. Um, this is the Eco, Eco Shag Half Shag so it's it's about an inch length um, as compared to their normal fur which is like about an inch and a half um, maybe two inches uh, with guard hairs and stuff um, and I've heard a lot of people say that shaving this fur is not good um, that it's it's thinner um, so the backing shows very easily and I honestly hadn't really tried it out myself too much um, it, because just looking at the fur compared to the the longer pile um, it does seem a little thinner and and I I haven't really been able to figure out why. Um, it just kind of feels like you can see the backing a, a little bit easier than on the regular long pile shag. Um, and I needed this exact color to shave on the entire belly of the bodysuit that I'm making and another color for the toes. And I was like, oh shoot, I only ordered the half shag because the whole, cost the whole costume is going to be medium pile um, length fur. And I only ordered the half shag, and I was like, oh, dang, I can't shave that. <laughs> so I need to order the long shag in the same color to shave that down so I would have fur for the belly. Uh, but since I hadn't really shaved the fur myself, I decided, you know what, I'll pick a corner, I'll shave it, I'll see what it looks like. So um, I took out my 5FC blade, which isn't the shortest. Um, I would say my 4FC is kind of... Um, kind of like your normal medium pile. If I run the 4FC over this fur, I don't get anything. So it's about the same length. Um, the 5FC is actually this length right here. Um, so it's not as not quite as short as it can possibly get. Um, I use this most of the time on like toes and fingers, something that's going to get a lot of friction. And I still want it to be short, but I also want it to hold up a little bit better than super, super short fur. Um, and then I also took out my 7FC, which is what I use for faces or something that has to be super, super sleek um, and really nice and short. And I shaved this here with the 7FC. And then here's the regular pile length for comparison. So I have 7FC right here. 5FC, and honestly, with minimal work, it actually turned out pretty well. I'm kind of surprised. Um, so I can actually say that I can shave this and it's fine, um, which is surprising to me. Um, just by hearing a lot of other people talk about it and say, hey, don't shave half shag. But it actually worked out really well. It doesn't look any different than other like luxury shag furs that I say shave this short. Um, it's pretty nice. I might not go this short with it. Um, I would have to actually probably do some more tests with it just to make sure. But as you can see here, if you pull it back a little bit, you can kind of see the backing a little bit easier on the super short stuff. Oh, my phone's not really focusing super well. Yeah, there's some. Um, but, I mean, if it's glued down to a face and it's glued really well, it's probably not going to be a big deal. But I would have to mess with it more just to make sure. Um, but I am super comfortable using super comfortable using this, um, the 5FC fur. It, it, it looks really nice. And I haven't even, I've only gone over this a few times. If I went over it a few more times, it would probably get even smoother. Um... So I just wanted to show that if you have the half shag ego shag, try shaving it and see what happens. Um, it might turn out a lot better than you think. And, and like I said in one of my other posts, I do really want to have a bunch of different types of furs. Um, shave them all down, you know, take actually good video, <laughs> not video like this. Um, and, you know, get down in there and say, this is how easy it is to see the backing on each of these different types of furs and how easy it is to see when I shave it with a 4FC, a 5FC, a 7FC, and maybe even a 10. I never ever use this blade because it always shows backing on fur, but I have heard other people use it. So, I mean, I've, it's just the blade that came with, um, with my clippers. So just kind of like I've always tossed it to the side and just stuck with the seven because it always gives me what I'm looking for. Um, 
but in in I wouldn't mind using this in some videos just to compare and see you know what it looks like. So um, I would like to do something like that later this year, probably toward the end of the year. And um, yeah, that way it's just you know it, hopefully it's it's a resource that people can use to help them choose which furs are best for their projects. Because um, it's really hard to just get a whole bunch of furs and then sit there and shave them all. And, and swatches are usually really tiny. Um, so it kind of sucks that you'd have to order like a whole yard of fur just to test it out and see what shaving looks like and such. Um, but if you have experiences with, with Eco Shag and um, either shaving it or just using it on your personal suit, um, I would really love to hear about it if you wanted to message me. Message me. Um, sorry, I have I have one of those dust masks on half of my face, <laughs> so it keeps uh, getting getting in my mouth. Um, yeah, when you shave fur, use a dust mask because this stuff gets everywhere. Eco Shad just like I turn the clippers on, it explodes into the air. So definitely wear a dust mask when you're shaving this stuff. Um, but yeah, if you have personal experiences with this fur, I would love to hear about it. Um, with this, the half shag, and with the regular long pile, um, I have, I don't have the same color, but I have yellow. So this, I'm also using it on this. So this is the length of the normal eco shag. It's just, it's very similar to Lux shag. Just, I would say it's softer and flowier, but other than that, there really isn't a huge difference between the two. Um, it does still clump a little bit. Like regular luck shag, but if you shake it really well, it's, I mean, not a whole lot. <laughs> there is a pretty big difference, um, at least at the clumping, but, um, but yeah, so I, I plan on hopefully, you know, making some detailed videos to kind of help everyone out a little bit with fur comparisons. Um, so I'd love to hear your experiences and maybe if you wouldn't mind sending me small, um, pieces of fur, you know, later this year, probably in November or December when I would get ready to do this. Um, I'll probably be looking for like five by five squares. Nothing huge, but nothing tiny like the normal um, uh, swatches you would get from a fabric store. Um, so now that I've rambled a whole bunch, thanks for watching. Bye!